god, it's Jasmine and welcome back to my channel, Stay Classy with that Jazzy, or welcome to my channel for the first time. And this is your first time here. I'm a graduating senior at Belmont University this year and I am taking the time to document my last semester here and I also have documented my past um, couple years here at Belmont as well. But man, I haven't vlogged in a hot minute and I'm super excited. Like I didn't think I'd be super so excited to be back on the camera. But First, happy new year. I know I'm a little late to the party. I hope that it's been treating you well. Despite everything that's been going on, even though I've been offline, I'm still being kept up to date with things going on in our world and in our country. Good and bad, that's all I would say. Two, today is the first day of classes for the spring semester. However, I don't have classes today. I got really blessed with my schedule this year. Like this is, or the semester, this is like the epitome. This is a dream schedule of a senior. I only have Tuesday, Thursday classes. I know I'm shocked too and then I have one class my education class on Saturdays but that's during the last eight weeks of the semester and we only meet four times throughout those eight eight weeks I can't really complain even though that it's from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. which is like to be honest dude that's like a whole school day it takes me back to my high school days where um, I went to school and then I had band practice right afterwards that's what's gonna feel like I don't know what that's gonna look like but I don't have to worry about that to mark so I'm not gonna worry about that so I have my Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays free I'm gonna try to babysit during the day that way I can make some money and then also do my homework too I also have an internship if you don't know I'm working helping with social media for a company and then or a business I think that's it for right now yeah so basically I'm trying to use figure out how to utilize my Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays really well because when you have a lot of free time, you can easily just be lazy and I've been lazy. That's kind of the premise of today's vlog is to not be lazy today since I don't have classes and to get organized and prep for my classes which start tomorrow. Um, also, I braided my hair and I added some color this time and it's like this red. I don't know if you can tell. It's like this red, red velvet kind of Almost burgundy, but I hope you can tell. I don't know if you can see it that well. But at first, I was really nervous about it because it looked super red outside the package. And I was like, oh no, what have I done? But the lady at the hair store was like, you're young. You can do it. And if you don't like it, you can never try it again. And like, it's not permanent. It's just hair extensions. So, I mean, I this is outside of my comfort zone. I know some people are like, red is like nothing. But for me, it's something. It's big. So I'm trying to take baby steps out of my comfort zone. I want to start doing a Bible verse of the day moment in my vlogs. My faith is really important to me. And I want to share with you something that I learned today. I've been reading James right now. And I read James chapter 4. So for chapter 4, it was really talking about like the difference between befriending the world versus befriending God. It says in verse four that so, so whoever wants to be the friend of the world becomes the enemy of God. And I was like, I wrote down, this is serious. You're either on God's side or Satan's side. There's no in between. So God calls us that he, we can't be lukewarm Christians. He will spit out lukewarm Christians. He will rebuke us. And so you can't be lukewarm. You gotta be all, all the way on fire for God, all the way on fire for Satan. And I don't wanna be on fire for Satan, okay? Each day you have to make the active choice to follow God and to be obedient and listen to him. But that is my scripture moment of the vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. But like I said, this is a get organized with me type vlog. There are several things I want to do. So I have a little bit of things in terms of um, getting my book from the UPS store. My last book for classes came in. I have more books over there that I want to open and just double check and make sure I have them the correct books for class. I have a few RA things I need to do and then I want to write down all my assignments in my planner ahead of time that way I can know what things are due. Like I already have a syllabus quiz um, next week so I need to make sure I like read the syllabus for that. I work tonight. And that's pretty much it. It's like little things and I have something I need to submit for my internship. <music> Some checks. 
Um, and then I'll sometimes order books from my school service, which is called Bruin Books. Um, but most of the time I can get them cheaper from Ched or Amazon. I have a linguistics book for my education class. And then I got a novel for my senior capstone. I have this novel book. Oh, it's like I'm so trash. I'm so sorry. And then the last book I got my textbook for my psych class. And I'm missing our book, which is at the UBS store. I, I like to keep the box that they come in because you can just easily, and if anyone it's time for you to return your books because it's rented, you just put it back in the box, you print out the receipt, you just give it to your UPS store, and there's like no cost, and um, it goes right back to them. Pretty simple process. Not sponsored. I'm going to put the books away, and then we're going to take a look at my to-do list and see what else I have left to do. Okay, I found better lighting. I did my internship work and submitted that. I did my planning for floor programs. If you don't know, I'm a resident assistant, so I get to plan programs for my floor um, to do throughout the semester, as well as some other RA stuff. I want to send an email, so a lot of these things are like computer work. And I will say for, for a second real quick, with online classes and a lot of things being online, um, sometimes it's really difficult for me to feel like I'm actually making good use of my time because I'm doing a lot of stuff on my phone or on my laptop and just like being online and not just like um, I keep saying like, but not being, you know, in a planner or a notebook, just like traditional material type of work. So I have to remind myself that I like, even though I feel like I'm on my phone a lot, I'm not just scrolling through social media, then I'm actually, I'm actually checking my emails. I'm creating content on Canva via the mobile app on my phone. I'm submitting stuff for my internship and um, all this stuff on my phone, on my iPad and on my laptop. So I just gotta like make, I just have to do better in my mindset knowing that I'm not wasting time and that is just the nature of school right now and the world and how everything's online. Right now, I'm going to go and grab my book from the UPS store so I can come back and grab my stuff and find somewhere on campus to actually sit down and write all my due dates and assignments for my classes and my planner and then also do some computer work. <music> UPS store and I stopped by the front desk to get some tissue. Fun fact, we get free tissue in our dorm, which is really nice. And I got the package. I was filming a few clips that you just saw on my phone. And there's one clip where I was trying to get um, a view of me carrying the package in my, the sky outside. And I like literally almost chipped and fell flat on my face. So I'm not going to walk and walk for a while ever again. <laughs> I'm going to open this up and make sure it's the right book, and then I'm going to go find a place on campus for the next hour or so to just get myself organized with putting the dates in my planner. Oh, boy. Wait, what? Okay, never mind. Oh, my word. So, fun story, this is not my textbook. <laughs> this is not my textbook. Actually, a gift that one of my sisters sent me. <gasps> I mean, I'll take it. Ah! I saw her on Instagram, Jarell Guy, Black Girl Baking. Oh my word! I'm gonna have to text her and say thank you or Facetime her or something. Oh, look at this. I'm sorry, you can't even see. <laughs> this is all beautiful. Look at that shot. This is what I want. I want to make a cookbook one day. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting this. What a nice little surprise. Okay, um, well, let's go find a place on campus to study.
laptop, or not my laptop, my mic. <laughs> because my camera's about to die, but I just finished some RA stuff. I did my shift, and then I went around and like asked some questions to my girls about floor programming, so did that. So I kind of got a lot of off my list that I wanted to do today. Pretty much everything. Now I'm just going to chill out and eat some brownie brittle. It is delicious. Last time I think I ate it all in one sitting, so I'm gonna try to pace myself. But thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this chill, get organized type of vlog. I try to keep it as real as possible. I know a lot of us are still dealing with loneliness or, you know, trying to be social um, within the confines of being socially, socially, socially distanced and keeping ourselves safe. But I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to stay classy, classy, curry, which means cherish life and simply surprise yourself. Bye.